Okay, we're bringing Atten and Kreia to explore Narshada to start with. And Kreia's already yelling at me, so I think I'm doing it right. My roommate's cat just hopped on my lap. Oh, I love that. I love cats. Hello, Charlie. Explore city. Okay. We don't really have a lot of plans except explore, look for the Jedi that's on this planet, and maybe look for lightsaber parts. Oh yeah, and then the exchange thing. They're all trying to kill me. And I already killed some of them, so that should be great. This guy said he would spy for me. I don't know if that's gonna. Haven't heard anything more yet. I'll come seek you out if I do. So he's gonna come find me. I was actually curious about that. I don't know. I have the. I have a worry that he's gonna turn on me and report things about me to the exchange. But maybe that's a little bit too suspicious of me. So the swoop garage. Okay. Oh. And what did she want? Just answers to some questions. Asked about a Jedi <gasps> master of all things. Really? Interesting. See? See? I knew it! Wait, I have... Nobody criticized me for being paranoid ever again. Well, they know I'm looking for the Jedi. Great. I didn't tell him I was a Jedi. But I probably told him too much. <laughs> Good thing he didn't mention this time. <laughs> That's something Revan would have done. That's something Revan would have definitely done. But you know what? I've. <sighs> if you're paranoid and there is someone stalking you, you're still paranoid. That's. Is that true? Is that a. I mean. I can see the argument. <laughs> I can see that. Airspeed navigation interface. Cool. Okay, TT32. 30 second model? They have met explosive ends. Uh huh, I don't know if I. I don't know if I trust that either. Explosive ends? <laughs> Many accidents, great. Carbon scoring. Is this the is this like the person that works on your swoop car? Like I'm I'm you said you were the 30 second version? Okay. That's the same thing that I asked. I'm looking to buy some equipment. Okay, so you bye. Interesting. Okay, I did. Kind of fascinating because apparently that droid couldn't actually help me with, uh, please, with anything. Well, we got some more chemicals. Is it okay if I. I've been just taking stuff from public places pretty much everywhere I've been going, and I haven't gotten really in trouble for it. One guy yelled at me on on Telos in his apartment, but nobody's tried to arrest me for stealing credits, so I'm just gonna keep doing it. It's the Witcher way. Fifteen <laughs> I'm just looking around. I'm You're gonna leave your credits laying around in a barrel? Yeah, expect them to be stolen, especially by the main character. That's main character energy, looting everything and stealing everything. You better bet Qui-Gon was searching- <laughs> Yeah! He's like, shoot, my my mind trick didn't work on this guy. I have to hit, get thousands of credits to pay him and I don't have the money. <laughs> Can you 
change a ship's ID. Ooh, that is something we need. Are you all right? Why would I say what's wrong with him? Why would I ask if he's all right? He seems fine. Seems pretty calm and... I, I don't... I'm not startled by this guy. Am I supposed to be? Can you change a ship's ID transponder code? Oh, man, he doesn't want to go against the law. I don't know if we can be allies. I kind of need people willing to go against the law with me. <laughs> I can pay you. Okay. I guess I'm probably gonna have to find those things. So you've got, oh, you got crystals. You have the yellow crystal for a lightsaber. Um, when you guys said that I would find things for the lightsaber crafting, you didn't mean buy them, did you? Or did you, or does that also include buying them? I have 2,000 credits. Man, I spent so much money on Telos. We meant to find them. Okay. Just checking because I... I don't want to like miss like, oh, well, in the shop number 32, <laughs> you would have found this part. I don't always look at everything in the shops that thoroughly because I don't, I don't know. Who can change the Evan Hawks ID signature, but you will need to bring them either transponed. Okay. So we either need another ships. We might be able to get this by going to look at the... If you find them in a store, that's still finding them. Is it not? <laughs> Yes, but it's not for free. <laughs> it's not for free. I think buy buying them is different than like organically coming across them. And oh, oh no, not <laughs> Kotor. Okay, your predecessor wasn't carelessly destroyed. I love these little cutscenes. Snot for free. Greeny, welcome in. What happened? Well, either way, if I make a lightsaber, I want a ye I want an orange. I want an orange crystal. I need to get my lightsaber back from Atris. Well, what happened to him? <laughs> Code in. Okay, what would you like me to do? Why do you want the your replacement? Oh. Plans. What plans? Ooh, this might give me some dirt on this guy that I can use. The first game you already had a lightsaber in almost an entire party. <laughs> yeah. I feel like a noob. I feel like a noob. Although in this game, I feel like I was using blasters for a while in the beginning of KOTOR. Or not blasters. Blasters and swords. Um, Before we got to the Dantooine stuff, but... I don't know how many hours into the game that was. And then I was, I have like, I have force powers now. I just don't have a lightsaber. Hello from the club. Hello. Hello. The club. Wait, what, what, what club? Like a book club, like a dance club. Like what, what are we talking about? Um, they aren't dangerous, are they? One of his rare moments of genius. <laughs> I too would like to be roasted by my droids one day. Okay. Interesting. If I can get a free version of that part once it's built, then I'll do it.
Hmm, hmm, hmm. Should I bargain to be included with a reward for this? New droid shield? Sure, I can. I'll go with the medium answer, where it's like, I'm interested, but I'm not demanding. But I'm putting down the hint that I'm, like, interested in getting in on that technology. What does the droid look like? Oh, IT31, IT31. We gotta remember that code in. A graveyard of droids, that's so... Okay. Cool, we got two quests from these people. Clubhouse country- Oh, you're at work! Nice! Had any attachments? <laughs> Stop. This guy needs to- This- this guy- <sighs> I can't believe he sold out my information immediately. Oh wait, there was another room back here. Oh gosh. This place is so... overwhelming. So that's the same way I came from. Now where do I choose to go? The anxiety of making choices uh, where to explore first. Grachi ubachi kumpa duana muska na boska wamba. Gavadumba munsuru kupla li. Um, what did I just walk into? Gavadumba yaitua ulwanji uma. Very welcoming. Oh, there's like TVs in here. Born a list. Malam pasta ravando krimo gavan. Kurmaka traksa vesham bash. Joruka komoshi. Juto monshi dakaji. Greetings. I'm Malaxel or Dasi. Since we're. Jona yur turanga chi vi ita. Vamos limo podalma wanga kun. Bis mula rabest. She is really friendly. I was thinking of racing my swoop bike. Ah, uh, was I? Whatever. Why? A droid racer? Oh. So they're even more impossible than they already are. Nice. I remember her face being so defined. Ah, does this person look horrible? Like, wait, I wasn't really looking at her face. Let me look. So he built a droid to win the races. Yeah, she has a lot of, uh, like, uh, lines in the, in the coloration of her skin. Yeah, it, it does kind of look prune. Rogue Jedi! Hello, I didn't get a notification. You're playing. Twitch does that sometimes. I don't even rely on Twitch notifications, honestly. I, I don't I don't even use them because they have failed me so many times. I usually follow people's like social media posts or their Discord posts because otherwise I don't know. <laughs> or I just look at Twitch and I'm like, who's live? But welcome in. A droid would be a formidable opponent. Droids aren't all. Well, uh, let's be careful about bragging because I'm really bad at swoop 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 racing. <laughs> Kavadumpe masuraku, popayi botenya, tachimorosa kamsa, javasko bosabjo, rijiso karvenokso, mochitosa sakande. Nasasu! Welcome in! So, by not fixing the races anymore, the exchange couldn't claim a cut of the winnings. Well, 
screwing over the exchange is pretty nice. All of the safety features could be removed from the swoop bike. <laughs> oh, great. How cunning. Oh, okay. Meaning he scared away all the cunts. That's disgusting! <laughs> I'm gonna say that. I mean, I was kind of thinking that's disgusting. <laughs> you can only skin him once. It is also true. Okay. So... Lupo skinned his Wookiee. So he got too greedy. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I bet. How do I beat him? Has she just been sitting here waiting for someone to come along and be like, let me take up this challenge? <sighs> Tell me what to do. I wonder why she hasn't done something about it. そう、シジスナダルレイサー。ワタクマンさん、とこしゃなちとろ。ま、これはどうだって。キチュノカダミレニト。フレンフィア。イフサムワン。ヘコチュパナレット。アタマクチャ。カワドンペマスラコ、パ
What are you looking for? Usually the model gentleman. I don't believe you. Because, because I'm, I'm lying. lying. <laughs> okay, Lupo's droid has an interface module for. You're looking for such a device here. Which means... There are other swoop bikes on the track? Yeah, what? Don't you just go set your own time? <gasps> he runs the race backward? <laughs> backward? Oh no. Bro, this is... This is so troll. It's already bad enough. Unless you steal the module. Why would they just leave it laying around if there was such a thing? So ready to race? Uh, apparently there's gonna be people swooping at me! Along with all of the obstacles, along with everything else, um... We gotta sabotage, sabotage that droid first. Aw, is what beautiful. Oh no, immediately went to sad. All the hope is for nothing. Hope is an illusion conjured up by a weak mind. Okay, Racelin. Okay, Racelin. Hope is the denial of reality. <sighs> Why do you say that? Kreia approves. Why is that? The carrot tingled before the draft horse. Yup. How is your hope gone when it sounds like you've got a solid plan? But if the city's so beautiful, why would you want to leave? Oh, I like that. Snarky. He's probably having a quarter life crisis. That illusion. What illusion have you created to disguise your failure? Wow. Why can't you win the races? Non man, it's good to see you. Welcome in. I've heard, I've heard. Fan blast? Oh my god, this is getting insane. Now there's not only people rushing at me. But the fans blowing you around the course. <laughs> like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. Thanks for the tip. Uh, cool, good to know. I'm glad that people told me this up front. Is that the droid? No. I mean, maybe. C9, T9. I don't remember if that's the same. Yep. C9-T9 is the droid. <sighs> Are there so many droids I'm looking for right now? TT-32 asks you to retrieve astromech. Th that'll look different. IT-31. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Don't you see my squad? Are you not threatened? 
The biggest race fans are part of the course. Protected by a shield. Let's try to do this. Slice into the droid central behavior core. I made it in. Open file swoop zero 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 one. <laughs> uh huh. Cool. Reprogram. Think it is in a race and about to lose self destruct. Um. <laughs> that was such a bad idea. Uh. Okay. I thought the whole point was. <laughs> I thought the whole point was to do this whole delayed reaction thing and then she just blows it up on the spot. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I only, <laughs> I only had one choice. Subtle as ever. A bit of subtlety. Uh, I don't know. I came running when I heard the explosion. Your droid seems to have expired. <laughs> <laughs> He believed me! Uh-oh. Your droid exploded. I believe your droid had a minor malfunction. <laughs> I'm gonna say minor malfunction. What <laughs> the those creditors will have my leku on a plate. That's messed up. Perhaps someone can buy the gallery from you. Does Gizka infested hole? <laughs> the Gizka is so cute. Perhaps Bornelis. Come on, does he not suspect me? He's way too trusting. Borna, help! So that guy does the races, but let's go see how this. So he already left? Oh wow. Okay. He instantly teleported out of here. <laughs> okay, oh wow. I got- did I get 2,000 credits for that? I got 2,000 credits. That's pretty good for me. I need to level up these two. I said I was going to do this last time when I quit, and then I forgot to do it when I started back up. <laughs> sneak attack six. Does he ever use his sneak attack, though? I don't know. I kind of want you to have... Oh, I did get two weapon fighting for him and then I never equipped a second weapon. Wow. I'm on top of things. We'll give him... Oh. oh no, we didn't get two weapon. Oh, for some reason I thought this was active. Let's give him two weapon fighting. I'll give him two blasters. Why not? Why not? <laughs> Modified holdout blaster? Interesting. Droid oxidizer. Okay. Three to eight. 1 to 10 versus droid plus energy energy damage hmm balanced so this one 
Balance plus two plus zero versus two weapon penalty if used in the offhand. Okay, cool. A lot of these are balanced. We'll give you this. We'll try it out. What's your other one right now? Four to seven. Oh yeah, it's like sonic damage. Whatever. We'll just keep you with that for now. I'm really bad at comp comparing blasters. We'll give you awareness, repair, and treat injury. I don't know why I'm giving Kray a stealth skill, but whatever. I feel like it suits her kind of. Determination lightsaber form. We're gonna have to build a lightsaber for Kray. Wait, Kray, why don't you have a lightsaber? It's actually a good question. Like, I understand why my character doesn't have a lightsaber, but why don't you have one? So we, can, we have force choke, we can't get kill yet. I really wanna get her kill. Mm. Affect my, what do I wanna? Where's force resistance? Maybe we should start building up force resistance. Hmm. <laughs> can't get level two of healing yet. We haven't really fought any force. She <laughs> lost it swoop racing. <laughs> That'd be so funny if Kreia was like, my past that I didn't tell you about is actually I was a professional swoop racer. Use the force to guide me. I feel like I should get some kind of bonus for swoop racing because I'm a force user. Um, okay, we leveled them up, cool. Now, I guess I could try swoop racing. Let's check out this door. This just leads back outside, so... Everything we've looked at so far has been swoop related. No, wait, this is tub shop so there's a workbench in there I should remember swoop gallery let's just try I want to try at least one swoop race just to see how bad it is oh wait maybe I should try clicking on this guy and make sure he's okay he's in no state to have a conversation okay guess we can't do anything about that <laughs> This guy's voice is interesting. Mark? Marketable face. You have a very unique face. What? <laughs> uh, okay, can I race? You must jump to avoid them as they move cargo. What? What else? An old sewer system. So, I'm probably going to fail at this really badly, but I want to try it at least once, and I guess we'll get to see some more of the city by doing this. <laughs> Namely, the sewers and refugee areas, I guess. They run the course in the opposite direction. This is so hardcore. Fan blast? Okay. Let's go. This is already too much. I already forgot how to do it! Oops. Oh my god! Ah! Wait! Wait! <laughs> There's so much going on, I don't even know. <laughs> I can't control. The fans are really bad. It's so sensitive, like I have to barely touch the... 
Oh shoot, there's another swoop racer. Oh shoot! <laughs> also, how am I flying right now over this gap? Like, you guys don't understand. I mean, you probably do if you've played this, but like the amount that I'm touching the keys and I think it's due to the fans, although I'm not really seeing where the fans are. I'm <laughs> just like feeling the effect of it. Oh, that's the wrong button! <laughs> like the left to right strafing is so sensitive. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. There they are. It's so... The handling on this vehicle! Man. <laughs> oh, that was kind of fun though. I would get... Oh wait, what? How was I a champion? I feel like they're throwing. I feel like... <laughs> Wait, what? I struggled so much. <laughs> was that? Why are they okay with me being so bad? Is this like rigged? Is this rigged? Excuse me. Is there a prize? 500 credits. Hmm. I feel like this is suspicious. Did every other guy think so mix up? It's okay to be bad if the competition's worse. Look at that, swoop champion. I feel like there's something going on here. Like they, I appreciate it. Perhaps I'll see you again. Okay, so they're just getting up and running. That's so weird. I wasn't even really trying, like I wasn't completely trying to throw, but I was kind of just testing the waters. Like I was, I was, I was chill, I was. I was just having a good time. They're like, congrats, that's the best time. What? I was for sure thinking I wasn't even gonna be on the leaderboard. But like they said, there haven't been a lot of- Oh, is that the droid? IT31. There haven't been a lot of racers there, so maybe that's why. Retrieve an astromech droid IT31 from the junk dealer. Okay, so these, this guy is supposed to be really mean. These droids are so cute. Are you Tian Tub's droid? Um, let me see what I can do. <laughs> the voice is actually just roaring. I I can't get over it. I'm looking for an astromech droid. Yeah, let's let's be let's be straightforward. I'm trying to rescue you. <clears throat> the droid seems to know what I'm talking about. No claim, no claim except code in. No talk, no argue, no, no right. It makes me so sad when those droids get sad. Like, ooh. How about I buy the droid? 500 credits? Hey, I just won 500 swooping. How about 300? Okay, Lego, have a good sleep. Thanks for hanging out with us. Okay, I got it for almost half price. That's pretty good, right? Let me see what you have for sale. Droid, 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 droid. Droid parts. HK vocabulator! <gasps> I should probably buy that. I know that we're trying to repair the HK droid. I don't know if I'll actually be able to though. 
because my repair skill is pretty bad. <laughs> but but it's worth the effort of trying. It was pretty cheap. It was like 100 credits, so. I negotiated your release. You don't look too good. I want to ask this. Make sure... What are you doing here? What were you doing on a scrap heap? I wish I knew what what he was saying. What's your function? Okay, well, let's get out of here. I wonder if you bring T3, if T3 has like dialogue with these droids that you encounter. You're free to go. See you back at Tien's garage. Atten, get out of the way! <gasps> I swear to God, if you just messed up that scene. Good to see you made it back all right. Oh no, this isn't back. This isn't back anywhere. Um, it was no trouble. Uh, let's go talk to him and see what he says. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, yes, oh, they gave we've me been expecting you. They gave me uh the 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 schematics right away. That's kind of nice. Happy 5th of Halloween! I love October. Welcome in, cute. Indoctrinated Squirrel, thank you for the follow. And cute, thank you for the follow. Um. <laughs> October's been a lovely month so far. Just so you know, I have a copy of the schematics. I'm I'm kind of concerned that the droid didn't physically come back here like he was supposed to because the cutscene bugged by us standing there, but hopefully it's okay. Just so you know, I have a copy of the schematics of that part. Is this something I found in the... Oh, I'm blackmailing him! Oh no! That's not what I meant! <laughs> That's not what I meant! That's not what I meant! Well, they are now. Unless you come up with some additional compensation, I'll see you to it. Everyone has a copy. <laughs> Pay me some credits. <laughs> well, we're about to get some dark side points, chat. <laughs> Zanarg, hello. How are you today? If I didn't retrieve the droid, he wouldn't have anything. Accidental blackmail. I was like, oh, I should probably tell him this because maybe it'll lead to something, but it was like, oh, I should tell him this in a sinister way. Mm, okay. Pay me some credits. I can make sure all the copies are your property. Wow. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. I'm going to go with option number two. Your subsequent extortion? He's <laughs> calling me out. Very well, I'll be going. I wanted to back out of that real quick. <laughs> okay, we got XP. We got the shield, the droid renewable shield. And we got a journal entry. I didn't get dark side points for it. Probably because I backed out at the last second. So that's cool. Either way, it was still accidental blackmail. Yeah, I kind of I'm gonna ask him, are you alright? Because it gives me this. Igloo, it's good to see you. How are you? <laughs> if you we got out of extortion. How to get out of extortion 101 in the pillow fort. Um those Halloween emotes are also really cute. 
<sighs> I love Halloween. Are you alright? Teriwana Jun Konata de la Guna Tuna. Dairinto Runka Rekare Papana. Sulston's hearing's pretty sharp, if you couldn't guess from the lobes. <laughs> Adam, be quiet, you're not helpful. This is like when I said that Karth was, when we were going undercover and we're like in the Sith planet and I, they were like, I was like, these are my slaves. And then Karth would constantly say something <laughs> like, he'd be like, uh, yeah, totally. And he would try to bring it back. I'm like, Karth, just don't talk. Just let me handle this. I love Halloween. It's so fun. I don't do any, like, I just love the aesthetic of Halloween. I love the season. I love the decor. I don't really own any Halloween decor, but I love seeing it. King Jazzy, how are you? And Slytherin Kid, hello. Yeah, this is fine. This is fine. I came here to do business. <laughs> Depends, what is this place? So this is a vehicle repair shop. Big Ears here might know someone who can change the Ebon Hawk's ID signature. Could be useful for avoiding notice. Big Ears. Compliments will not get you a discount? <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> Wait, I'm already ahead of you, Atten. I already asked about that. I just wanted to... I just wanted to um, see if he had anything else with those other conversation topics. Starting my day applying for stinky jobs. Oh, stinky jobs. Uh, applying to jobs is no fun. Applying to jobs is only fun when, when it's like you have no stakes uh, in it, you know? Like, oh, I'll just put some applications out there and see what happens. But if you're like, where am I? Where the heck am I right now? Commoner. Ex Jedi. Why does everybody know I'm an ex Jedi? Is that a threat? I'm boss. Wait, have I met you before? Exactly, that's not the case. You're right. Let's make a memorable, likable companions that people will fall in love with. Obsidian. What if everyone was rich? Yeah! <laughs> I know! I know! I think the thing that- I think- I don't know if- also, when he was like, compliments won't get you, I think that he liked- Like, I don't know if that was supposed to be like, he was like, oh, saying that I have big ears is a compliment to me. Or if it was just like, supposed to be like, sarcastic and ironic, like- Compliments won't get you. There's a recruiting agency that doesn't stop calling. They keep having different people from. Oh god, that's that's awful. So you can't even block them because it's different numbers too. I keep getting called by surveys, and it's really weird because my my phone will identify it and be like, "This is a survey call." You know, like it'll tell you if it's spam. And I've been getting so many different people from different numbers trying to get me to do it. I'm like, what? This is very, very suspicious. And I do not want to engage with them. The more people that call me, the less I'm likely to do it. I can't get a job because I don't have a place. And I can't get a place because I don't have a job. It just works. This system works. Yeah. My life's a disaster, too. In solidarity. <laughs> in solidarity. Uh, why is that? How do you know who I am? Ooh, I'm famous. Oh, he's giving me the lore from that cutscene that we saw. Laws? So, okay, what laws they uphold? So, 
So if they're all hunting one person, they couldn't attack each other. Hmm. Someone is- they all hunt Jedi, they all hunt uselessly. Someone is playing them for fools. Who are some of the prime bounty hunters? This guy! <laughs> oh, shoot! Um... Gand? Insects from poisonous worlds. This is very strange. Who else? I like how we're getting a little... Huh. Okay. Very beautiful, very dangerous, classic. I can handle them both. Anyone else? They don't even know what dangerous is. Next. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of these guys. I don't like the HK droids. Those are pretty rough. There is always Hanhar and Mira. Hanhar. Oh! Captured by Zerka. Hmm. Um, taking slaves and breaking and killing humans. Okay. I love how this guy that I'm talking to is just like the biggest gossip in this whole city. Okay. Why? Okay. Oh. Well, now we learned about everyone that's potentially after me. So that's cool. I feel more than vaguely threatened. You sound as if you hate the guilt. staring at me <laughs> oh the NPCs bounty hunting has become murder just as Boba likes it forget it I have other questions so you're no longer a bounty hunter Okay. Where can I find the guild? They're everywhere and nowhere. So I'm gonna have to piss them off too. So they're different than the exchange? Man, the amount of people, the amount of people trying to kill me is actually ridiculous at this point. I have to become a criminal? No one can resist wanting to kill you. I think I'm already doing a good job at that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was- I was like, wait, have I met Vosk before? But then I think I was thinking of Bosk. And it just was so similar that it, like, rings in my brain. 
That doesn't sound very comforting. How do I raise my bounty? That doesn't sound very comforting. Now <laughs> he's staring at the wall. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I have to piss everyone off. This should be easy for me. This is like no, no effort. Who should I make mad? Oh, the, okay, we're already on that. Wookie? Why does everybody talk about skinning Wookies? This is very uncomfortable for... Uh, okay. Well, I think I got everything out of him that I need to. Thanks, dude. I'm just throw it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's so true. I'll just choose the most unpopular romance, and everyone will get pissed. I love their reactions. That was so great. Also, everyone in chat was pissed too. Really, you chose him? Really, hey, Mel? You could do I better. No, I couldn't. You flew in on. Let's be honest. My ship. Your ship? <gasps> I'd lay off the spice if I were you. That's our ship, not yours. Was I talking to you? I tell you, that ship's mine. Who are you? Don't count me there. Yeah, with a few exceptions. What makes you think the ship's yours? It's the Ebon Hawk, isn't it? She was stolen from me during a routine run in the Mid Rim, near the close of the Mandalorian Wars. Okay, but <laughs> this ship's been stolen from everyone. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Trandoshans hunt the Wookiees. Okay, I was mad because he played Andromeda, not because of mm. Reyes was a good choice. See, three is <laughs> just can, Daddy. <laughs> Wait, you're right. We have to say it. I had no oh. If you couldn't hold on to it, then you didn't deserve it. <laughs> what I learned in KOTOR 1 is... Uh, I can't give this shit back to him. This is ridiculous. The first option here, oh, if you can prove it's yours, I'll give it back. Your choice. I'm here if you want something <laughs> done right. <laughs> You're not taking this ship. Okay, I'm gonna say if you couldn't hold on to it, then you didn't deserve it. So, you admit it's not yours. <laughs> How did you come by it anyway? Who did you buy it from? Buy it? Oh, you're assuming a lot. You are assuming too much. Um. You're not taking the ship. We'll see about that. Watch yourself. Nar Shaddaa can be a rough place. <laughs> Let me shoot him in the back. No one has to know. Oh my god! Oh my god. Come on, Atten, just do it next time. Just do it next time, then. If you have such a dark, murderous past. Why are you waiting for me to approve it, huh? Refugee sector. Wait, even Qui-Gon didn't steal his ship. <laughs> I love how Qui-Gon's the baseline. Oh, that was such a fun dialogue. I kind of like that everyone, like, I just pissed off that guy. You know what? This is great that the whole plot of this right now is, like... Who can I piss off and how many people can I get? Just like wanting me dead as quickly as possible. What did I just walk into? Is this like spice transporting or what? <laughs> what is it now? Somebody's in here. Ambush? I don't even know where I am. I hope... Okay, they're fighting each other? Um... What did I just walk into? Are you guys exchange? I'd like to know before I kill you. Look at Atten, he has two guns now. Oh shoot, I suck. 
Cray is dead. Oh no! This is what I get for being distracted. We're gonna die! We're gonna die here, actually. These guys are hardcore. Hello, Gord! This is our first... This is our first fight of the stream. And I'm getting destroyed. How high is your wisdom and intelligence? In game! I like how you specified in game. Um, let me see. Wisdom 13, intelligence 12. Wait, my light side meter is above the light side. Wait, why? Does that is that important for something? Other than the things that I know that it's important for. These guys are too good. This guy's low. I'll go for him. Okay, or not. Or not, because my character has cute actions. <clears throat> More where that came from. More where that came from. Yeah, you tell him. I'm just hoping Atten's gonna survive. Your fourth world failed. Yeah, I've been trying to improve my wisdom, but it's slow going. Please stop trying to attack this person when I tell you to attack this person. I leveled up my wisdom last time, but... Uh, Atten's down. Luke, welcome in! You got- wait. Good COVID booster. Hey, I just got mine two days ago, Cake. Welcome in. Welcome in, Cake and Luke. My arm is still sore. It's it's much better today, though. I hope you uh, don't get any other uh, symptoms. Yeah, you're right, Fahrenheit. I need to work on my wisdom more. Is it that is that that would be wisdom that determines that, not intelligence, right? I got mine last week. I should have gotten mine earlier. But I didn't quite realize that they were actually available in my area. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Get back up, get back up, Atten, get back up. He's back up. Oh, Kray is back up too. Did we win? They ran away? Did we kill them? <laughs> Did we kill them? The murderer always gets back up. Oh, that was such a good di I've been thinking about that dialogue between Kreia and Atten f for like a week since it happened. Whenever that happened. Why is this room so glitchy on, on the graphics? Some of the interiors make the, the like motion frames really strange. Um... But the dialogue between Kreia and Atten was was really interesting because I had even said earlier in that stream, I was like, I was like, it's kind of interesting like that Atten has this feature where he always gets back up. Like if he's not completely dead, he'll always get back up in a fight. And I was kind of like, he's like the human spirit. And then later Kreia was like, huh? kind of weird that you just keep coming back and I wonder what it is that drives you and I was like oh, we have the same mind I should save yeah you're right at least a quick save since we barely made it out alive melee shields you're right I didn't use any shields that whole fight either or uh, I need to I didn't use my night speed either I I keep using all of my stuff on healing. The indomitable human spirit. Yes! I was literally thinking about that too. Like he has a feature where he always gets back up. That's kind of poetic. <sighs> Good cred. Okay, this sounds... Very credible. Back, welcome in. Um, and Arlinsel, hello. Hello as well. 
How how is Narshada so far? It's um. It's it's a lot of we we did a swoop race that I won somehow. I did very poorly, but I I got the best time <laughs> on the first go, so it was very chaotic but fun. And then we've pretty much been given the mission to piss off everyone, which I'm doing a good job at, and we're just killing people and running into various crime and revenge does wonders for the will to live. I don't see any customers waiting. What is he talking about? This is very oddly specific. Ask a Twi'lek. It's not flattering. Uh, <laughs> what am I? The things I'm in the middle of. This planet is just me getting into the middle of a bunch of chaos and and law breaking. Maybe I could reach a compromise. The negotiator, you know. I could kill her for you. Oh, I'm not gonna kill for random people. And now some guy's trying to take the Evan Hawk for me again? Everybody wants my shit. A discount off your... Okay. Where was... where was the other person? It showed them, didn't it? Show her? Go back to the ship once in a while. Uh, even when I'm just like on one planet like this. That is good to know because I don't want to miss character content. Like I accidentally messed up the character stuff last game with the Karth romance. Your thoughts are disturbed. I can feel them like a shiver running through you. Uh, I mean, my thoughts are disturbed, but <laughs> thanks for noticing. I don't know, I suddenly feel strange. I, I feel this background noise, like a vibration. It doesn't say echo this time. Who are these NPC men? Get out of the scene. This is between us. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> There's a craving in the air, a hunger. I don't know, I suddenly feel strange. It is Narshada, the true Narshada that you feel around you. It is this moon with the metal and machine stripped away and the currents of the force laid bare. Okay, Kreya, you have got some poetics in you feel so alive, but with a desperation about it. Almost like Atten. <laughs> the currents are moving so fast, almost frantically. Sound, the vibration is strange, tense. I'm gonna say... Hmm. I like these, yeah, I like these conversations about, about these things. I'm gonna say option number two feels so alive. I'm surprised you can feel it. I fear the damage to you had deadened you to such perceptions. What you feel is the echo, the echo. of the minds of these creatures within the Force. Their anger, their greed, their desperation. It is life. Hmm. Is there some way to heal it? To control these people? Oh, that's very... <laughs> It, the, the sound of vibration is strange, tense. Strange? Perhaps. Perhaps not. It is but the vibration of minds driven by life struggles. The struggle to feed, to take, to mate, to fight. It is the way of things. It requires that one She's be able all to about feel the this critical point thing. within the fractured mass, and know how to strike it in such a way that the echoes travel to your intended destination. Huh. 
I'm not interested in manipulation, but healing. Then control over such a large scale as possible. That this feeling, how long can I feel these echoes around me? This is so interesting. I just had free lunch. Free lunch is the best. What was it? How long can I feel these echoes? For as long as it lasts. Like life, such waking moments within the force are rare, waiting for the right moment when the critical point is struck and the sound rises. But let us be silent. Words and thoughts are distractions. Feel this moment for as long as it will last. Feel life as it is, with the crude matter stripped away. Maximum force points increased. Cool. So is that her way of mentoring me? This looks like a club or something. So um, when you said it's worthwhile to go back and visit the ship, is that something I should do? Entertainment promenade? Something I should do between didn't get influence but you didn't lower it i got a little bit of <laughs> i got a little bit of influence with kraya last time i had an interaction with her on the planet but i've been struggling with her is this your idea of a lesson i feel like i should do a new save piss everyone off piss everyone off you know what That's fine. <laughs> that, that works. <laughs> uh, uh oh. To very nincha, you know, not she casa chuch. One or two mobiles. Torcha no banca ni honkades. Torcenta we not dog. Tono tocha. Tocha ramacaca musuran cana. I didn't really mean to go to a new section, but, um... I want to go back. I am a hoax Jedi. You're right, Bandit. Welcome in! How are you? Yeah, I still don't have a lightsaber, although Bayo told me he'll help me build one, so... Who's the best companion? I don't know, probably the guy fixing the ship and offering to build me a lightsaber. Greta? Is... Greta. Really? <sighs> Not greed, greedo, greedo. <laughs> oh, is Gita? <laughs> <laughs> oh my brain I'm like wait Greedo Greedo oh no I actually do that a lot where I my brain like fills in and like changes words <laughs> is that a normal thing um I did that the other day too I forget what it was I think it was like a street name and I just read it as something completely different that was like relevant to like my perception of reality is warped okay Ondar across the way has a problem with you did you know Ondar offered me a discount to deal with you Okay. I don't really want to get in the middle of these two, but I I feel like the other guy was very, very hostile, and she seems to be a little bit more chill. Ivory Tower, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. Let's see what you have. What do you mean veteran of a war yet to come? I mean, I'm walking around with a sword out, so... 
you're pretty articulate for ro Let's see what you have. That's messed up. <laughs> Why are there some of these dialogues? Why? I don't know if I miss content by not saying that. Cause sometimes I say things just to like see if there's extra content behind them, but I'm... Strength D package? D package implants are larger and more intrusive than other types. They tend to have more impressive effects, but can only be used by very healthy individuals. Crystal. Crystal? Crystal? Wait, I don't see a crystal. Oh yeah, there's yellow crystal. I saw some of the other guy, one of the other guys had this too, and I was like... Um, I don't know if I should buy these. I guess I can spare to buy one. I'll, I'll buy one just in case. D-Pack, I know. <laughs> I feel like maybe I'll buy one of these just in case, but uh... I'm not sure if I'll find them for free at some point. I got, I got a, 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 what's it called? Vocalization part for HK from the other vendor. But I haven't seen any other HK stuff. I don't think. But I didn't, did I really look at the guy's stuff? He's not going to talk to me now, though. Oh, he's going to be pissed. Wait. Please, look, I, I already paid the exchange what I uh -oh. have. Are we gonna get more exchange drama? Kill more of the exchange members? Uh, but I, uh, oh, look, <laughs> here's the one with your credits. About Come on. Time. Look, these gentlemen are getting impatient. What is- what is- okay. I like how they immediately jumped on this. You two give me all your credits and go jump in the central pit. <gasps> this man is under my protection. Leave now. But we want him to pay us credits. Yeah, I, I got that. You can tell them to jump in the pit. I can't believe it. Kreia is hauntingly in the background. Yeah, I was like, I might force persuade people. I'm trying to- And what is it you think you have accomplished? Oh God, she's pissed. Again. 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 All I did was use my very charming persuasion skill, Kreia. I didn't do anything else. I didn't promise anything. I didn't give out any money. I didn't make any favors. All I did was use my charm that I inherently have. <laughs> um, like, oh, but for the force persuasion thing, I, I am trying to say force persuade for like very dire moments, like, if I think nothing else can work and I really want to do something, then I'll do it, but... <laughs> CM! Oh my god! And Backseat Jedi at it again. Charm? Bandit? Shh, shh. My character is charming, okay? Look at her. She's so innocent. You help someone? What's wrong with you? Yeah, they need to suffer to learn. That's what Kreia's philosophy is. What do you mean? If you seek to aid everyone that suffers in the galaxy, not gonna lie, Morrigan is kind of like this. Them. It is the internal in the struggles of when fought and won on their own that yield the strongest rewards. You stole that struggle from them, cheapened it. Not really. If you were in need, Kreia, I would do what I could to help you. You're overreacting. It was a small kindness, old. <laughs> it was just my charm. Is it wrong to help others in need? Kreia thinks intentional racism doesn't exist. Yeah, she's... Is it 
is it wrong to help other? Perhaps you are right. I will consider this. She wants me to be like, oh, maybe you're right. Last time she brought up me giving credits to that guy and then he got robbed. And I was like, I'll consider what you've said. Because I didn't want to concede, but I didn't want to argue with her. But I feel like this... Hmm. Pull up by your bootstraps. Yes. Yes. Oh, institutional. Yeah. Yeah. That that makes more sense. If you were in need, Kraya, I would do what I could to help you. If you ever weakened yourself in such a way for me, I would rather <laughs> suffer and die than have you demean yourself for me. That is not who you are, who you can become. Oh, this is... Oh. It is who I am. If it meant your life, there's nothing I would not do for you, for any of my allies. Okay. It might be a little extreme, but... I mean, if she doesn't want me to help her, then who am I to argue? Like, okay, Kraya, I'll let you suffer. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I don't want to hear it. Let's go. Hmm. How should I deal with this? She would rather have me suffer Wait, I would she would rather suffer and die than have me help her apparently. But it's like don't we help each other, each other all the time? Isn't that just the nature of like we're existing in a group in a party together? I feel like that inherently goes against some of her supposed principles like or does she just see it as us being near each other but not actually like we're bonded yeah she wants to die because you're helping her i know like oh nothing nothing will make you happy i kind of like when characters are difficult but at the same time she seems very very insistent on this that is not who you are who you can become like, what do you mean that's not who I am? Who are you to say that? It is who I am. I'm just gonna say it is who I am. Then you do not know yourself, and you will die a fool's death before you are ever tested. Accepting help to aid my friends isn't foolish. Maybe such a choice is the test. Perhaps you are right. I will consider this. Maybe such a choice is the test. Then you have failed, and when you break, it will be because another does, and then the galaxy shall fall. She's trying to make me like this strong person or something. I don't know. I don't know what exactly she's trying to mold me into. Like, like I'll make the right choices, I'll make the hard choices when the time comes. I don't know if that's the mentality here is that like I will put the the greater good above people. I I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I I think it's a bunch of things at once. I'll just say I'll consider it. That is all I ask. I mean, I didn't get approval or disapproval. Neutral again. So what about the you? Are, are you crazy? That was exchange muscle. When they hear about this, they'll come back a dozen strong and tear you limb from limb. Uh, did I not just help you? <laughs> BM, welcome in. She's trying to make you as, and, and Mr. Enforcer, hello. Make you as pessimistic as her. I don't know if it's pessimistic. I mean, it is pessimistic, but I don't know if it's just that. I don't think it's like pessimism for the for the sake of just being pessimistic, I think it's a very particular worldview, and I'm not sure if it's related to, like, Jedi Force teachings, or if it's... I have to go buy Aten and Kraya best ship. <laughs> okay, Fahrenheit, thank you for hanging out with us. 
Wait, do you mean you ship these two together? Like these, like or or what do you mean? Or is this the best crew? Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> I ship it too. Oh no! <laughs> the shippers are gonna come out in the comments. Hello, <laughs> Zach. <laughs> Welcome in. <clears throat> I can handle them for now. I need some information. Yeah, give me information. Stop, stop gesturing at me angrily. You brought me into this mess. Now I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Can you imagine if Karth was here? Oh, the arguments that Kreia would have with Karth would be so good. Uh, all right. What'd you want to know? Yeah, that caught you off guard, didn't it? I'm looking for a Jedi Master. Jedi Master? Are you crazy? I'll just tell there this to everyone. Jedi running around. <laughs> let alone masters but you're serious aren't you all right well look if i were Get the a jedi out. might as well I'd everybody's where pissed. I could help people as for where that happens on nar Shada, i have no idea probably in the refugee area or something karth would probably say something sympathetic understanding like shut up you stay out of this <laughs> when he gets overwhelmed that's just what he shouts he can't control it it's your own fault your wife died, Karth. Yeah, yeah, you should have tried harder not relied on people. You have bad taste in men. <laughs> I'm just imagining Karth and Atten together with the, ooh. Yep, I'm imagining that too. <laughs> That's the ideal party. Ah, uh, yes, we've been <laughs> expecting you. Howie Jr., thank you for the follow. Welcome in. I'm looking for bounty hunters, too. The bounty hunters don't have any one place where they stick Thank around. you, random civilian. Best thing I can tell you is if you want to find one, get a bounty on your head and then wait. Mm. Well, I'm working on that. It's better than nothing. Now get out of here. Are you serious? All right. I must be doing something right for you to come along and bail me out like you did. The game's trying to make me... I guess the Jedi Code is still alive and well. Are you gonna roast me now too? What? What? Let me hear it. Let me hear it. Anyone in need deserves our help if they're capable of it. If someone suffers, then they're worth our time. Maybe you're right. I had forgotten about attracting attention. Okay, that's a good point. I'm not supposed to <laughs> write that fanfic of Karth Atten. Oh yeah, I should write that fanfic. Do you think that exists? I haven't I, I haven't looked at any fan fiction for anything Kotor because spoilers. Howie, welcome in. I love it. I'm having so much fun with these games. I'm not going to bother explaining it to you. Let's go. I guarantee it exists. Karth and Atten and uh, Love Triangle. Yeah, it must. I mean, I don't know how big how big the the fan fiction. I I I would actually expect that that Kotor has a decent amount of fan fiction. Maybe you're right. I'd forgotten about attracting attention. I keep telling everyone I'm a Jedi, and finally, someone's calling me out on it. There's a lot of people who need help in the galaxy. If we stop to help each one, the Sith are going to be on us faster than anything. Let's just accomplish our mission first, then worry about everyone else. So, I got influenced by letting him yell at me. There's nothing you can say to me, Atten, that's going to be worse than Karth yelling at me. There's literally nothing. There's nothing you can say to me. There's nothing you can do. They're, they're like... Uh, like, you have to meet a really high benchmark. Okay, that's the dock. I don't know <laughs> where where to go next. Charity starts at never. <laughs> yeah, how, how dare you do side quests? Chloe from Life is Strange. I haven't played Life is Strange. This is the droid that's bugged and supposed to be back at the shop. Okay, anyway. Um... Where should we go first? Should we go back to the ship? Someone said you should go back to the ship occasionally. Maybe I'll just do that before I go into another area. And save. I also might 
take a bathroom break soon. Wait, wrong way? Wrong way? Right way? Yeah, this way. People writing fanfics about characters who never met each other. Fan fiction is the realm of possibilities. See, for me, it's like... I don't feel compelled to read fan fiction about content that I already have. So like I can understand a fan fiction about characters that didn't meet or something like that or characters that are hardly in the, the canon content. Um, so but when characters aren't very much present in the canon content or like oh Then, like, I want to read fan fiction about them because it's like, I don't have that. What is happening? <gasps> um, is this haunted? Is this ship haunted? Oh no, it's the Sith! It's the Sith lady! <laughs> oh no! <clears throat> Go back. Oh, I see, I see. I was just gonna. I was like, I don't wanna miss character scenes because last time we went to the ship, we had like character scenes with Atten and Bayo, and. I see. When are you gonna make me like this game? Seven Sheen? I like this game. It's a little bit slow going, I feel, but I like it. I'm enjoying it. See, I'm, you only start liking it when it's like, <laughs> the trolling has gone so far. Is this the same or different character? This is a different character back. Okay, uh, what have you done to the crew? Yeah. Tell me about my friends. I like your outfit. Really? Well, that's not fair. <laughs> I'm gonna just get destroyed. Actually, I suck so bad. Get me out of here, get me out of here. No, 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 don't do, do I hate this. Dead end, dead end! Oh no, it's where all my crew members are. <laughs> did you save? Yeah, I did. I think I quick saved. I have an impulse to quick save. Um, pretty much all the time. Run. Give me a second. Okay, let's try this. She has a lightsaber. This is unfair. My character is so bad. My character is so, so, so bad. No, stop. Please, give me back my Revan. She was actually good at things. I'm just a, I'm just a pleb. Oh, this is nice since no one is in my party, I... Dagoth Ur welcomes you, Nerevar, my old friend. But to this place where yes, we've been you. Why Look at this epic duel. What is happening? What'd you do to me? What is that one? Oh my god, I'm 1 HP. Tater Tots, welcome in! Uh, sorry. Ah! You are my sleep paralysis demon! Oh, I should probably use a shield. I don't think that's gonna help. Oops. 
Oops. At least I have some more force power now. Ah! This is so bad! <laughs> this is really, 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 really bad. Please tell me I'm not the only one that gets destroyed by this encounter. <gasps> She's waiting. Let's hope she doesn't use any healing abilities or I'm really gonna be... Where'd she go? <laughs> Where'd she go? Yeah, the ship does look nice. I agree. Oh! God, she scared me. Someone manipulated you into it. Yeah, I started Morrowind. Oh, I love Morrowind. That's a grind, though. That speaking of dying all the time. We're fighting in very close quarters here. So that I don't have to go back to the ship for character encounters, is what you guys are telling me. To like, miss character content multiple times while on a planet. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. No, you don't. Okay. Because it made it made me wonder because of the scenes that I got last time. The like little cutscenes between characters I got and then I was like after the whole car thing and me not triggering triggering all of his dialogue before the game progressed. I am forever worried about that. Oh my god, there she is. Come on, we gotta get one more hit. One more hit. Come on. Come on! She- No! <sighs> Guys, I got so greedy in the last minute! <laughs> I have a love-hate relationship with Morrowind, that's appropriate. If I would have been a little bit more patient, but I couldn't get a single... I couldn't get a single last hit on her. Miss, 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 miss. It reminds me of in Dragon Age Origins when they literally say, come on, I gotta do this for my crew. I believe in you, thank you, Gord. <laughs> um, but Tater Tots came in. I don't know who else, if anyone else came in while I was struggling, but Tater Tots, it's good to see you. What have you done to the crew? Silent, okay, you know, yep, yep. So my new tactic is gonna be Run. Not this room. Miss, miss, miss. Wait a minute. Can you even fight a lightsaber with a sword? Oh, not this. I forgot about this. Run, 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 run. <gasps> 
What is that? Why am I stuck on the ground? <laughs> Bayo, you gotta repair that part of the ship. If you wake up from being unconscious again. That poor guy spends his whole life unconscious. I don't know if this shield is helping, but I feel like it is. I don't have a lot of very good swords, so... Actually, wait. I'm supposed to be a dual wielder. So, I don't know what's going on with my equipment right now. One second. Um. Running through lightsaber blades is <laughs> not recommended. <laughs> Okay, she's off my trail for a second. Um, let me see. None of my swords are particularly good, honestly. But for some reason, I don't have my two swords equipped right now. Well, now I look flashier, but I still suck. <laughs> okay, we did it. We did it. My lightsaber. Totally in this room is where the combat destroyed happened. It. Oh, I, I destroyed yield, it? Master. It is as I heard through the Force. My life for yours. Ooh. First try. <laughs> Just like Dusto! <laughs> <sighs> okay, we did it. Down you go. <laughs> um also, I don't know. I don't know. I think the game keeps making me naked and unequipping my weapons and then when I reequip them, I keep forgetting to put two swords in my hands. So, yeah, I was a little bit throwing. But um I'll not kill you. Arise, but do not attack me again. What have you to offer more than your life? You pledge yourself to me? I'm in need of servants, not corpses. <laughs> Arise. But do not attack me again. Kill me. I beg you. I... This is like Zevran. It was not my wish to challenge you. And I must pay the price. I'll not kill you. I, I don't have a choice, have apparently. To offer you, your strength is superior. I mean, it is as I felt. I kind of cheesed that fight. Okay. Medbay. <laughs> now <laughs> Quick. I've seen everything. This woman, she's a Miraluka. I didn't think any were left in this part of the galaxy. How do you know what that is? Why does Atten know things I don't know? I wonder if she can pick a lot. <laughs> Tell me all of your skills. Quick, list them off. What is Mir Luca? I heard they had a colony on the Midrim, almost halfway between Onderon and Dantooine. Then, it wasn't there anymore. The whole planet was wiped out. Nothing left alive. No one knows why. Hmm. Maybe she knows. Well, it was a planet of her people. If they see through the Force, who knows? If they're all force sensitive, maybe they all saw something through the force that we can't see, and they left before it happened. Or maybe it killed them. Okay. Atten. I'm kind of wondering why Kreia is not the one over here right now. A strong, powerful cheese. Yeah, like an aged, sharp cheese. Yeah, that's true. I can't equip her. Hello, Tater Tots. 
I love those emotes. I can't equip her lightsaber because I broke it. Because I'm just that strong. See through the force? I'm more inclined to think plague. <laughs> See through the force? They claim to see on a higher plane than we do. You know, the whole force thing makes me nervous. Thanks. I also have the, the force. Is her kind rare? Yeah, they're a pretty secretive race. I heard that some of their kind become Jedi, but a Sith? That's, well, that's a new one. I'm not sure how you'd go about killing one. It'd be tricky. How did she get you all to pass out? Yeah, that's true, Renaticus. <laughs> Tarna, it's good to see you. Welcome in. <sighs> killing one? Just mentioning it, she looks like she's suffered enough wounds already, even after the beating you gave her. Is she going to be all right? Well, some of her wounds are pretty bad. Looks like she was already carrying her share of scars, though. I think she'll recover. Is he a yeah. medic, too? Like, why, why is Atten doing this? If her condition changes, let me know. I don't didn't want to hurt her. Okay. You've scavenged- Yes, I got a part from her lightsaber, though! Look at her sh her lips are all shiny and glossy. Lightsaber emitter fixture. I got influence? Wait. So, like, you're a companion now? Um, does that mean she woke up? Should I talk to her? I'm so scared. I'm so startled by this. I kind of forgot that. I mean, like, I remember the Sith were coming after me, but... I didn't know... I want to try to find her first. Is she here? Where? Where is she? Vibroblades are stronger than... Vibro swords. Oh, that's Kraya. I know. <laughs> Every time I'm on this ship, I run in circles. Uh, I really should just talk to everyone while I'm here, but I I want to know where she is. Maybe she's in missions room. Oh, nice. My life for yours. Okay, time to answer some questions. Are you all right? <laughs> I am able to serve. If we enter battle, I will fight and die alongside you. That's not what I asked. <laughs> I, I have not heard that question in some time. My flesh is I like her healed outfit. if that's the answer you seek. In medbay, I... we noticed you have scars who hurt you. That's very personal, but... The scars are many and the cause is equally so. It is of no importance. How did you find me? I... felt you. Heard you through the Force. It was like a sound at the edge of hearing. And when I heard it, I found I could not ignore it. Who sent you? I serve my master. I am an emissary, a scout. Yeah, that's my true. My master Mr. was aware Enforcer. of the disturbance in the Force, but was unaware of its nature, of you. The disturbance is not something one feels from a living thing. There is little my master does not know, and that you eluded his sight for so long is significant. But I do not know why. Okay. I need to know where I can find your master. You cannot. His vessel roams the borders of known space. Great, that's convenient. And even I do not know where he travels. Until he calls for me. Even if I could lead you to my master, I cannot permit you to find him until you are ready. Ready? If I bring you before my master, untested, 
without your potential realized, then you will be lost to me. And I cannot allow that to happen. It would be as if one brought fire to a paradise valley, shattered a cavern of rare crystal, or blinded a painter. Uh, why is she already obsessed with me? <laughs> My life is unimportant. Your master threatens more than just me. I mean, that's a good point. I cannot. I will not. I would die first and gladly to preserve you untouched, unharmed. Now that I have found you, I cannot sacrifice what I have found. Hmm. If he's behind what has befallen the Jedi, then he must be stopped. You will meet my master. It is. Oh, now she's seen the future too. Okay. Seen it. And when you stand before him, and realize what you face, you must be prepared. Until then, I must protect you, help you, until you are ready. I played as Marilla. Miral Cook I don't know how to say it but <laughs> Mandalorian and Swotor people kept calling me an alien even though I had a oh my god <laughs> she looks I'm kind of I'm kind of confused are they not human I mean sorry well like is this like a type of human I don't really know maybe I'm not supposed to know right now what? Why are you doing this for me? I guess, like, I'm not even sure in the universe of Star Wars, right? In general, if humans are actually just called humans, now that I think about it. Like, because wouldn't there be probably lots of different kinds of, even what what we consider humans? Like, I don't even know if there is just... I, I don't remember if the game categorized me as human or what, but... Why are you doing this for me? There's a, a greatness in you. A greatness that does not stem from the Force. It stems from who you are. And if my master does not understand you, cannot see you, then perhaps there is hope for us all. But if you seek to survive, then you must understand why this is so. If your master has trouble detecting me, how are you able to do it? There is much I see my master cannot. I fear oh. it is because of my nature. Technically not nature human. Of my race. Okay. My people okay. spend their lives seeing the galaxy. The energy streaming off stars. The growth of life. All things touched by the Force. That's so, it's so vague. Like spend their lives seeing the galaxy, the energy streaming off stars, the growth of life. So for the force sensitive, like At Atten said, but it, it doesn't really. Where are your people, your world now? Well, that might help. It is not a subject which I have influence success since its destruction. I got one influence point with her. It worked. How was it destroyed? The planet was not destroyed. It remains. It orbits. Dead in space. But nothing lives on its surface. It echoes. Mm. But there's no one left to hear it. I like that theme. Who do you have the most influence with it? No idea. Probably Atten, Kevin, because... I think I've only gotten influence with Kreia like once in the positive and Bayo I don't even know if I've had like influence moments with him actually if your home world was destroyed and it's happened at least a few times with Atten if your home world was destroyed how did you survive I am not certain I did. I was there when the planet died. To see everything around you extinguished. It was as if I was blinded. It was as if the Force had been bled from the world. 
Ooh. As if everything suddenly went silent. I imagine there are worse deaths. We're bonding. Pain. We're bonding already. But if there are, I do not know them. I was the only living thing remaining on the planet of Qatar. And my life, my agony, was a flicker in the darkness that was the planet. All that I had been connected to had been severed. You were the only survivor? Yes, but it was not survival. I still wonder what would have happened if I had died with the others. If perhaps there would have been some way to hide my presence from the galaxy. If only I had not felt that pain, that loss, as strongly as I did. But it could not be done. When the life was bled from the planet, and yet somehow I remained, my mm. master came for me. He walked upon the surface of my dead world, and there, lying in the bodies of my race, he took me for his own, and he made me see. And for the first time, I saw the galaxy. And I wished to die. Wow. This is a lot. <laughs> he made you see? To this galaxy, my world, absent the currents and spectrums of the Force, was nothing but crude matter, rock, flesh, emptiness. He showed the flickering of life on other planets. The mass of beings that swarm through the empty places of the galaxy. To see such creatures, disconnected from themselves, their world, their place in it, unable to see the currents and how they affected everything around them. Why did he show you? He showed me to make me believe in his cause. He convinced me the galaxy, all life, must die. He fed upon its ugliness, its screaming, and Why? in its place, he left silence. And where there was chaos, he brought hmm. stillness and order. It would have taken several Republic cruisers to destroy the surface of Qatar. How did your master destroy your homeworld? Why did your master destroy Qatar? I'm going to go with option number one. It was not a thing done with machines or weapons. The force is far more terrible. And it touches more lives than any machine can hope to slay. For everyone that feels the force, strongly, deeply, each one feels and perceives it in their own way. You have strengths, whether you know it or not. And my master has his. His power is great. And it comes from hunger. He is a wound in the force. More presence than flesh. And in his Interesting. wake, life dies. Sacrificing itself to his hunger. And those who feel the force strongly are beacons to his hunger. My people, my planet, would have been attacked in time. It was inevitable. Yet we could do nothing about it. This is a real. I'm just like entranced into the story. Sorry, guys. Nisasu, good luck at work. Luke, um, I don't know what you mean by that. Through the force? Why did your master destroy Qatar? The Jedi. Oh, the God. It's always the Jedi. the Jedi. Came to our world to meet in secret. <laughs> they hoped. That perhaps among our people, they could achieve the clarity to see what was striking them from the darkness of the galaxy. They succeeded, but only in bringing him from the outer regions. And Qatar, with my kind, with the Jedi upon its surface, could no longer be ignored. And my people died, and the Jedi died, and there was no one left. It sounds like she's only talking me. poetry all the time. They hoped to see the threat that had been stalking them, and they did. But they were unprepared for the magnitude of the threat. 
Is it really just this one guy killing everyone? I'm I'm confused. Like, where did he come from? Like, what? What? He attacked it because the Jedi had gone there? He cannot deny his hunger for long. And any gathering of Jedi is something he cannot long like, resist. And why is he so strong? And now that the Jedi are vanishing, I do not know what will happen. Perhaps he will grow strong enough to eradicate all life merely with his presence. Hmm. I will answer what I can, but my answers may prove useless to you. Oh. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Tell me about your homework. It is not a subject which I have spoken. Hmm. Destroy. How is it destroyed? Some acts of destruction. Oh, I didn't say this one. Malachor. I've heard tales of Malachor. It is said that many of my people felt the end of the Mandalorian Wars from across the galaxy. But do not mistake me. I did not mean to draw comparisons between Qatar and Malachor. My homeworld still exists. Hmm. It is. Yeah, but everyone is dead. <laughs> uh, okay. I will answer what. Was your master the one sent to Paragus? I'm not familiar with the place you speak of. My master has not entered Republic space for some time, but there are others who may move more freely. Other Sith Lords? Who may Lords. have been responsible for such an act of destruction. Don't be rude. <laughs> I think I've been very civil with her. Not even sassy once. What do you mean? There are many factions within the Sith, all seeking to take what little remains in the wake of the Jedi Civil War. Where one moves, it is not always known to the others. But their purpose is the same. The death of all Jedi. Everywhere. They believe you are the last of the Jedi. And their hatred of the Jedi unites them. Yeah, this all again. All eyes are upon you. And it is a terrible, quiet darkness that pursues you. I feel like Kraya definitely knows more about this than she said. What do you think of Ahsoka? I like Ahsoka. I like Ahsoka. I will answer what I My master did not cause the end of the planet you speak of. There are many factions within the Sith, all seeking to take what little rem where one moves it is not always known to they believe So it's the same question, strange. I will answer what Um I've heard your species is blind, how are you able to see? My people once had the power to perceive events. To see through the force. That sight may manifest itself in many ways. And at times I may affect the abilities of others to Ooh, see as well. What does that mean? You sound as if that sight is lost here. My sight has been damaged. What I have taught you, it is not the full extent of the perceptions of my people. Limited ability to see the force. She has force sight in first person mode. And can also use it as a force power by spending force points. What? My master, when he showed me my world, showed it to me as it is. It hurt. And since that moment, it has been difficult to perceive the force as I once did. But after traveling That's kind of like me. I feel that perhaps there was a gift in it, hidden beneath the pain. When one endures, it gives hope to others and themselves. There's no gift in pain except the gift of strength. Uh, I don't know about the gift of strength, but... Only when one suffers do certain truths become evident. Thank you for <laughs> using me as an example of suffering. And I feel you are an example of this. Cool. I love that for me. Look up suffering in the dictionary. It's my picture. I think... I've asked everything. Maybe how do you see through the force? If you wish to know, perhaps it is possible to show another what my people see. What I see. First, you must close your eyes. The surface of the ship, its sights, will only be a distraction. Now in your mind, reach out. I like how the screen went black. Listen for my breathing. Do not focus on the sound, but the life okay, behind Okay, everybody it. in chat better Imagine do this. its energy, its texture, in tandem with the breathing. And then in your mind, 
Step back from the image, and see what remains. There. It is not as difficult as I thought. She did it. You learned quickly. <laughs> she meant in game, not <laughs> Me. <laughs> I'm gonna do some meditation. You've gained bonus force points and foresight. Perceive the alignment of others and see through some obstacles. Ooh. It will take effort to maintain such sight. But you now have that power. And with it, you can use it to hmm. see life around you in a different like way. Like the, op the as I used to alignment see of NPCs or, or my companions? Eh? I will answer what... That's everything. Forgive me, but before you go, I must ask. Why do you do this? Why do you seek to help me? Teach me? I believe you can be saved. I don't really know why. I try not to think about it. <laughs> why? It's only that a weak servant is no use at all. Surely the Sith taught you that. <laughs> I feel like the most honest answer, like, I like that this is poetic because I believe you can be saved, but I feel like the most honest answer for my character is I don't really know why. I try not to think about it. <laughs> I must warn you, if you weaken yourself what for me, then it will kill you. What is this about weakness all the time? These people are afraid of being vulnerable. To help another is not weakness. Everyone, when is someone gonna want me to do nice things? <laughs> when is somebody going to not lecture me about my emotions? Yeah, emotions are scary, but they are. To help another is not weakness. It is strength to them both. You have curious views for a Sith. I do not understand where your power over the dark side comes from. You are too even-tempered and submissive for my days. <laughs> yeah, they need a hug. I agree. You have curious views for a Sith. There is more to the Sith than simply rage or slaughter. There are many kinds of hate. And all of them have the call of the dark side in them. The galaxy is filled with many That's such evils. That's cool. And rarely have I seen anything else. What do you mean? I remember little of my homeworld before I entered my master's service. It is not as it was. There is little left of such memories. Or the planet itself. Okay. We've spoken enough. I already asked about her homeworld, so... Hello, Blue! It's good to see you. Very well. Perhaps we shall speak more of this I at I cannot time. allow you to weaken yourself know from this. me. I want to be weak to weaken yourself for me. I want to be. Even Atten yelled at me for helping too many people. I guess Bayo hasn't, but I don't really know what Bayo's uh I don't really get his memo yet. <laughs> Other than the fact that he he seems a little Oh, she's got a blue background too. Everybody's got a blue background. That means she's light side? It says she's a Jedi, not a Sith. Yeah, her lips are really nice. Her lips are nice. Um. Anyway, I have to pee and take a break quick. I'm gonna play a little bit longer past four. Uh, so I'm gonna play a little bit more, I think, but I'm gonna take a quick break, so... We'll try talking to the others, uh, after this, too. I, I don't think they're really gonna have anything new to say, but since I'm here, we might as well. And then we'll go back and choose which part of the city we want to, um, navigate into next. I think we'll go to the refugee section. But I'm not really sure. <laughs>